what's next for Kevin O'Leary? I mean, you're all, you're an amazing guy. I'm so curious what, what the future holds. Well, I'm very interested in uh, crypto now. I'm looking at this Stablecoin Act, the Genius Act, which is just weeks away from being passed into final hall of law. It's gone through the grinder in the House and the Senate. It'll be a big breakthrough for the crypto industry because it's the first digital payment system. It's not a speculative product like Bitcoin is, but it does provide a new way to do business with entrepreneurs and reduce fees for transferring capital around the world. The currency markets are the largest on earth, and this will establish the U.S. dollar as the de facto currency worldwide for pricing commodities. You know, it's, it's just it's a fantastic innovation. Uh, I'm a shareholder in Circle, one of the founding companies, Tether and Circle. Together <clears throat> own about uh, 90 plus percent of the market. You know, USDC is the one I prefer, but Tether is also uh, being used. So I, I really... That's a big part of it, um, and I'm focusing my investment energy there. Data centers are huge for AI. I've got some big investments in that space that I'm tracking. And then this narrative going on about whether we should sell our technology to our adversaries, which is a really interesting debate. You know, chipsets from AI companies being sold to China or Russia or North Korea. And you would think intuitively that's not a good idea, but I'd argue it's very stupid not to sell them this technology because if, if the Chinese find a country that is not serviced by American chips, they'll simply fill the void with Huawei and everybody will be programming on the Huawei platform, which is a very bad outcome. Uh, Chinese software tends to be spyware, as you can see that in the TikTok situation. And the reason you think about the analogy is if you send a chip out, that's like a queen bee. Um, everybody writes code around it. Those are the honeybees, those are all the programmers. And they create an environment, they create a hive, and they stay around the queen bee because they don't want to relearn the stack. And every time there's an iteration to a new chip, they have already learned it from the last iteration. And you keep that whole ecosphere running. So that's making American honey, so to speak, with American chips. If Huawei sticks their chip in there and replaces the queen bee that used to be American with a Chinese queen bee, then everybody's making Chinese honey which you don't want. And the reason TikTok is being litigated out of existence, it seems, is it runs on Chinese honey. And there's an example of the problem. And so I'm very interested in that as well. Those are my big initiatives for the next couple of years.